the excellent relationship that we have with Modern Brothers Association is due to the fact that our objectives are aligned and they're the same. What makes the company to make more money and have a safe environment? The other side, the workers, want to be involved and more involved than consultation and information and we argue agreement, <laughs> something that MEA is opposing to a certain extent. This is it. This is, we are arguing today, but we are molding our future together. Yeah. And that is what is industrial relation. That is information and consultation. But how this and all legislative, we need to work together to define and suit all these directives and legislation to the Maltese needs, both of the company and the employees. And this is why we're here, to understand and learn from each other how to plan our future, how to make our play workplaces more organized, more efficient and uh, more productive. But as well, having a workforce that is truly motivated truly well paid and skilled and um, it is important at the outset of two separate several issues relating to participation <coughs> communication and consultation the principle of communication the methods or means to give effect to this principle and whether the principle and or means should be enshrined in legislation or should be subject of bipart negotiation or should be the employer's initiative it's all coming down even from the ILO. I was quoting the ILO. Yeah. And it is basically what we do. Being here at the workplace on a national level and even on a European level. Consultation, information, discussing, sometimes arguing. But both sides want to find solutions. Solution to grow together because we either live together or we die together. There is no other means. An, an entrepreneur can invest as much money as he can in a company, but he needs the employees. Employees need those entrepreneurs who believe in investment, who believe the, in their skills, and we have to work together. But when it comes then for mergers, we need to define what's going to happen. Uncertainty is not good for anyone. It harms business. Definitely, and it harms the motivation of the employee. Because going into a known scenario, what have you been doing for the last 10, 20 years might not be good enough in the future, or might be different. It doesn't mean it's wrong. Yeah. But when you mold someone doing the same job or doing the same things, and all of a sudden you say, listen, this is not going to happen like this anymore. It needs to be changed. So there need to be consultation and information and agreement with the union representative because we're not there to hinder the progress we're not there to hinder any merger we're not there to hinder the company making profit or being efficient we're there to understand what's coming and how we need to plan because an employee 40 hours of his life are spent at work but the rest need to be planned as well and it's not just something that happens overnight you have your family needs, you have your personal needs, you have everything well planned and all of a sudden there is a merger, things are going to change, so you need to be well informed. Because when there is no information, speculation will start to flourish and that's when really trouble begins. Because people start talking, start hearing, they're not uh, understanding or hearing the proper explanation and never want to start to speculate. Like Joe, I offer you all a fruitful seminar and looking forward to much more than this.